How's it going guys? Eric here from TechAsode TV and in today's TechAsode we're going to be taking a look at 100 reasons why the LG G4 is awesome. If at any point during this video you want to learn more about a feature, maybe how to enable it or set it up, you can check out my new website TechAsode.tv. I'll have a whole article written up on how to enable a bunch of the different features uh, and give you a little bit more information about the phone. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. Also, if you guys missed my Galaxy S6 and Galaxy Note 4 videos where I go over 100 reasons why those phones are awesome, you can check those videos out in the description or by clicking one of these links. One quick disclaimer before we get started. I'm not saying that the G4 is the only phone with any of these features. That's not the case. There are definitely some other phones that have some of these features and that makes those phones awesome too. Now that the disclaimer is out of the way, let's get started. You can quickly change the theme of the home screens and apps by long pressing the recent apps button while you're on one of the home screens. You can also download new themes in the LG Smart World App Store. It can record in 4K resolution, which is literally taking an 8 megapixel picture 30 times a second. It has smart cleaning, which scans through your phone to find apps you haven't used in a while, old downloaded files, temporary files, and raw image files, and suggest deleting them to free up space on your phone. This becomes increasingly useful the longer you have your phone and is a great asset for keeping your phone running fast. It has a color spectrum sensor that analyzes the colors of your environment in real time and adjusts your white balance so you get more accurate colors in your pictures than on any other smartphone currently on the market. If you long press on an icon then let go, a small paintbrush will appear. You can then tap again to customize the icon. You can swap the icon with a preloaded icon or make it a picture from your gallery with a custom size. This is great for those who want to deeply customize their home screens. You can save photos in raw format. Normally when a photo is taken, LG will boost saturation, contrast, and sharpness automatically. If you save the photo in raw format, none of those changes will be made so you can adjust the photo exactly to your liking. Keep in mind that raw format photos take up over 4 times the amount of space compared to the standard JPEG photos and can only be edited with special programs like Photoshop. It supports up to a 2TB microSD card, but the largest microSD card currently available is only 200 gigs. There's a link in the description for that card if you're willing to shell out the cash for it. You can quickly swap out the battery with a new one. It has knock code which allows you to unlock your phone by tapping a pattern of up to 8 taps on the screen. The pattern uses relative position so you can tap it starting anywhere on the screen. You can even use knock code while your screen is off to simultaneously turn your screen on and unlock your phone. The camera has a manual mode which allows you to adjust the white balance if the colors don't look quite right. The focus if you want to get a stylized shot or just want a macro shot. Both the ISO and shutter speed with a single brightness adjustment. Just the ISO from 50 to 2700. The shutter speed from 1 6,000th of a second to capture very fast moving objects all the way up to 30 seconds which when paired with a tripod can get amazing nighttime landscape shots. How amazing you ask? Here's a shot of a lake with the iPhone 6 at around 10 p.m. You can see the lights and that's about it. Here's the same shot using the Samsung Galaxy S6. Again, all you can really see are the lights. I should also mention that both the iPhone 6 and the Galaxy S6 are set to get the best possible low light shots. Now here's the same shot using the LG G4. It's much brighter than what I could even see with my own eyes. Long exposure shots with the G4 also make for amazing shots of fireworks. Or some fun shots with a laser pointer. You can see more shots with the LG G4 on my new website at techisode.tv. There's a Capture Plus option in the built-in web browser that takes a screenshot of the entire page so you can read it offline later. This is great if you fly on airplanes often and want to read up on some online news while you're in the air. The Calendar app has a feature called Event Pocket which you can link to your Facebook account so you can quickly add Facebook events to your calendar. You can also take a glance at restaurants, attractions, and other things that are close to your location. If you see something interesting, you can tap it to navigate to it, call the establishment, learn more about it, or add an event to visit the place later. If you're not sure when you want to go, you can just save it to your pocket for later. Think of this like a bookmark section. You can then come back to your pocket once you've picked a day and time and either drag and drop the bookmark or simply tap it to set up the event. Lastly, you can view any tasks that don't have due dates and drag those to the calendar as well. You can quickly add photos to your favorites folder by tapping the star icon on a photo. It has Q-Slide apps which allow you to open up to two pop-up windows at the same time. These windows are resizable and can be made transparent. This feature is particularly useful for things like using your calculator over your budget to add expenses up. There's an IR blaster to control your TV, Blu-ray player, air conditioner, and anything else that uses an IR remote. You can even set it up as a universal remote to control all of your devices with a single remote. 
You can turn on Quick Remote in the notification shade, which allows you to control your devices right from the notification shade regardless of which app you're in. Swiping in any direction while in the camera app switches between the front and rear cameras. If you long press on a photo in the gallery, then tap another photo further down, it will select all the photos in between as well. This can be done multiple times within the same selection process, so you can select every photo you want very quickly. This also works for deselecting photos. You can get a G4 with a genuine leather back for that premium feel. It has optical image stabilization, which helps remove shake and blur from your photos and videos by literally moving the camera itself inside the phone. When using the keyboard in landscape mode, you can pull outward from the center of the keyboard with both fingers to split it into two for easier typing. You can enable voice notifications for messages and calls, which will audibly tell you who is calling or who just sent you a message. You can also set it up to read the incoming message out loud. New messages received from wife. Messages, what time are you getting home? This is a great feature for people who work from home or for people who work in environments where they aren't worried about other people hearing who is calling them or what a message says. It has smart share beam. Think of this like AirDrop on the iPhone, but up to 10 times faster when you connect to a compatible LG device. You can also connect to any Bluetooth device that's capable of transferring data, which is most laptops and smart devices in general. Simply put, this allows you to quickly transfer photos, music, documents, or anything else you have stored on your LG G4 to just about any other device within Wi-Fi or Bluetooth range. You can fine tune the auto brightness mode. This is great if you want to use auto brightness, but want it a bit brighter or dimmer than its default setting. It has the easiest screenshot feature I've ever used. Just use a single finger to press and hold both the power and volume down buttons for one second. It has always on voice commands for Google Now. Okay, Google. Send an email to my wife. Subject, date night, question mark. Email wife, sure, what's the message? Want to go see Inside Out tonight? Question mark. Got it. Do you want to send this? Yes. Sending email. The calendar app icon shows the real date. It has smart notice which gives you weather updates, reminds you to get in touch with your favorite contacts if you haven't called or messaged them in a while, suggests cleaning out temporary files or uninstalling apps you haven't used in a very long time, suggests ways to increase your battery life, and reminds you to take a look back at old memories from time to time. You can copy important messages to your saved box. Think of this like a favorites folder for your messages. Any message copied to the saved box will show up here for quick access. This is handy for things like remembering the name of a band that someone told you to look up, or to have quick access to that list of groceries your wife asked you to pick up. You can customize which applications post notifications in your notification shade. This is great for disabling those annoying notifications from games that constantly remind you to play them. You can even set up priority notifications if you want notifications from a specific app like Messages to only stay on top of all your other notifications. It has an 8 megapixel front facing camera. That's the same resolution as the iPhone 6's rear camera. You can scrub through videos quickly by sliding your finger left or right anywhere on the video. You can also get a preview of different parts of the video by swiping across the scrubber. The main video will continue to play and a small window will play the video from wherever you move the scrubber to. This is great for finding a particular scene without having to stop the video. Once you find the scene you're looking for, just tap the small video to skip there. Pinching out on any home screen hides all of your apps and widgets so you can get a better look at the wallpaper. Just pinch back in or press one of the navigation buttons to bring the apps and widgets back. Quick Memo allows you to quickly draw or write a note. This is great for quickly writing down an address or grocery list without having to navigate to your notes app. There's also a Quick Memo widget which keeps your recent memos readily available for when you need them. It has tap to wake, which turns your screen on when you double tap it. You can then double tap again to turn your screen back off. This works from the lock screen, on any empty spot on your home screen, or at the top edge of the screen if you're in an app. If you're trying to take a selfie in a low light environment, you can turn on the selfie light, which makes a large part of the screen turn white to help illuminate your face for the picture. Swiping up on a notification in the notification shade hides everything except your notifications so you can see more information in one shot. You can then swipe down on a notification to expand it and get quick actions like reply to or archive an email, and much more. Swiping up or down on the left side of the screen while watching any video you have saved on your phone will adjust the brightness. Swiping up or down on the right side will adjust the volume. Pressing the lock icon while watching a video locks the controls so you can hand the phone to someone else without having to worry about them hitting any on-screen buttons by accident. The front facing camera has a beauty effect which gets rid of blemishes on your face. Looking at the two pictures side by side, you can see that one shows blemishes on my forehead, while the other does not. This is a great feature for people who are self-conscious, or vain. To enable this, just adjust the slider when taking a selfie. 
If you double click the volume down button when the screen is off, the phone will automatically launch the camera and immediately take a picture. This is great for getting candid shots. You can also double click the volume up button to automatically launch quick memo so you can write a quick note right from the lock screen. To take it even further, you can download an app called Key Plus which allows you to launch any app by double pressing your volume up key. This is particularly useful if you set it up to turn your LED flashlight on and off. To download the app, click the link in the description. Easy mode makes the interface so simple even a caveman can use it. Yes, I went there. You're welcome. You're locked to a home screen, a contact screen, an app screen, and that's about it. You also automatically get extra apps or contact screens if you fill up your current ones. This is a great feature for people who want to learn how to use smartphones but are worried about complicated menus or accidentally removing things. It has pop-up calls which allow you to finish what you were doing before you answer the call. You can even silence a call by swiping up if you don't want to answer it. The call will stay in your notification shade until your voicemail kicks in in case you changed your mind and want to answer it. You can disable bloatware that carries install on your phone quickly and easily just by dragging and dropping from either your app drawer or your home screen. You can turn on a volume control slider in your notification shade to make it easier to change the volume when your phone is docked somewhere or laying flat on a table. And if you'd rather not have the volume and brightness sliders, you can just remove them and really clean up the notification shade. It can take 16 megapixel pictures, which is great for zooming and cropping without losing much detail. There's a Q-slide icon at the top of the screen when you play any video that you have saved to your phone. This will shrink the video down into a pop-up that you can continue watching over any other app. This is great for quickly checking Facebook while in the middle of watching a movie on a bus or train. You can download themes for your keyboard, which change up the style of the keyboard. It has power saving mode that allows you to save up to hours of battery life without sacrificing any apps or features. You can even set power saving mode to turn on and off automatically based on how much battery you have left. If you easily get overwhelmed by all the camera options, you can switch to simple mode which gets rid of everything except pinch to zoom. Just tap the area you want to focus on to take a picture. This is particularly useful for having someone who isn't tech savvy take a picture when you're out and about. You can choose from many different types of transition effects for your home screens. My personal favorites are Carousel and Domino. It has Smart Bulletin, which gives you tips and tricks for your LG G4, as well as reminders about upcoming events, a quick remote widget to control your TV, a quick glance at your fitness for the day, and more. You can even download additional Smart Bulletin plugins to get even more information. The app drawer has a search bar to make it easier to find a specific app. The phone has a slight curve to it, which makes a surprisingly big difference in how comfortable the LG G4 is to hold, and actually makes a legitimate difference in how the phone feels up against your face when making a phone call. The curve also helps protect the camera lens because it prevents the lens from ever touching the table. You can enable one-handed mode in the dialer, which shrinks the buttons down and moves them to one side or the other to make it easier to use with one hand. You can also do this with the keyboard. You can use LG Backup to transfer all the files from your old Android phone to your LG G4, including all of your call logs, contacts, messages, bookmarks, calendar events, voice recordings, documents, music, photos, and videos. You can set specific apps to hide your home touch buttons in. This is useful if you want to go into full screen mode in apps that don't natively support it like Google Chrome. If you long press the spacebar on the keyboard, it will enable text scrolling which is great for navigating to that one letter you need to fix. The gallery has multiple ways to view your photos. You can view them by time, by custom albums, by memories which are automatically generated based on where you were when you took recent photos, and by favorites. You can even view just your videos. It has Smart Lock, which unlocks your device automatically when you connect to trusted Bluetooth devices like a headset or a smartwatch, when you're at a trusted place like your home or a relative's house, when it recognizes your face, when it recognizes your voice, or with on-body detection, which keeps your phone unlocked while it's in your pocket or in your hand, but then locks it once you place it on a table. You can choose to use just one of these features, a combination of them, or none of them. You can enable Game Optimizer, which adjusts the video quality of any game you're playing so you can get longer battery life. You can turn on voice commands to take pictures. Cheese. Smile. LG. You can have a different wallpaper for each home screen. This is great for making it easier to identify what types of apps you have on each home screen, or if you're just indecisive on which wallpaper you want to use. It has dual window, which allows you to have two apps open at the same time. This is handy for watching a YouTube video while checking your email. Touch Assistant enables a floating window that gives you many shortcuts to do things like increase or decrease the volume, go to your home screen, take a screen capture, pinch in and out with a single hand, go straight to VoiceMate, which tries to be like Google Now, but in actuality is pretty useless, 
go straight to the accessibility settings, or power off the device. You can also draw letters to do different things. Drawing the letter C takes you to the phone app to make a call. Drawing the letter M takes you to the messages app. Drawing a W takes you to the web. An S takes you to settings. An L locks the screen. And drawing an E takes you to your email. And in case you're wondering, the answer is no. These are not customizable. When you're done using Touch Assistant, just tap anywhere outside of it to minimize it. You can then drag it around the screen as needed. Touch Assistant is particularly useful for people who almost always use their phone with just one hand. You can automatically save your messages to a micro SD card so you can easily transfer the messages from one LG device to another. You can improve call clarity for both you and the person on the other end in the phone settings. You can also enable HD Voice, which makes your voice sound much more clear when talking to anyone else who has an HD Voice enabled smartphone. I personally haven't noticed too big of a difference between HD Voice and LG's built-in options, so I recommend trying both separately and seeing which one works best for you. Clicking either volume button while in the camera app takes a picture. This makes it much easier to hold the phone steady while taking a picture. If you have location tagging turned on, you'll get an option when viewing pictures to see exactly where in the world a picture was taken. You can switch between a list view in your settings where all of the settings are in a single column, and a tab view where the settings are broken up into tabs. If you tap the pen icon while in the gallery, you get some of the most robust photo editing features that I've ever seen built into a gallery. You get the standard crop and rotate features, auto adjust which automatically analyzes the image and determines the best effects to make that particular picture look better, looks which gives you 15 preset effects to apply to the image, a tune image option which gives you complete control over brightness, contrast, saturation, shadows, and warmth, a selective mode which allows you to select up to 8 specific areas and colors to modify. So if you want the greens to be more vibrant, but don't want to affect the reds, this is the feature for you. It has a details mode which allows you to change the sharpness as well as the structure, which basically boosts the contrast and saturation to pull more detail out of the shot. After that, there are a bunch of fully customizable effects including vintage, drama, black and white, HDR scape which brightens only the dark parts of the photo to get more even lighting across the shot, retrolux, center focus, Tilt Shift, which is the effect that makes cars and cities look like toys, and frames. There's even a button at the top of every effect that shows you the before and after when you tap it. It has a Do Not Disturb mode called Interruptions, which allows you to quickly turn off all notifications, enable just priority notifications so only your favorite contacts can call or text you, or enable all notifications. It can even be set on a schedule so you can automatically disable notifications when you go to sleep. While on a call, you can tap the three dots in the upper right corner, then tap Quick Memo to quickly write down an address or reminder. It has smart settings which change your volume and enable or disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth automatically when you get home or leave home, which is great for saving battery life. It can also open specific apps when you plug headphones in or connect to a Bluetooth device. This is handy for things like opening a specific music app when you plug in your headphones, or opening your phone app when you connect to a Bluetooth headset. It has app pinning which locks the G4 to a specific app. This is great for handing your phone to a child to play a game, or handing it to someone so they can make a phone call. The only way to get out of the app is to hold both the recent apps and back buttons at the same time. You can even add a pattern or other lock option for added security. The front facing camera has real time HDR which makes for great selfies even when the sun is directly behind you. You can lock sensitive family photos, videos, or memos behind a password or pattern. To view your locked photos, just tap the three dots in the upper right corner, then tap Show Locked Files. Now just enter your password or pattern and your locked images and videos will be shown. You can get a quick circle folio case which has a circular cutout that gives you a glance at various things without having to open the case. Since I don't have a quick circle case, I just placed a small magnet on the phone to make it think I had a quick circle case on. With the case on, you can quickly view your missed messages or missed calls, check your calendar for upcoming events, turn on your LED flashlight, control your music, take a picture, and much, much more. Oh, and did I mention that this case also adds wireless charging to your G4? There's a link in the description if you want to get this case and support Techisode TV at the same time. It has some of the coolest unlock effects I've ever seen. Among those are Circle Mosaic, Light Particle, Soda, Vector Circle, and my personal favorite, Hula Hoop. You can modify your home touch buttons to have up to five home touch buttons enabled at the same time in any order. Aside from the standard Back, Home, and Recent Apps buttons, you can add a button to pull your notification shade down or send it back up, a button to launch Dual Window, a button to launch Quick Memo, and a button to quickly launch one of your QSlide apps. The calculator app turns into a scientific calculator when you turn it sideways. 
You can also view your calculation history, and there's a button to put the calculator directly into Q slide mode. If you tap the three dots in the upper right corner of the gallery, then tap Make Collage, you can quickly create a collage of up to nine photos right from the photo gallery. You can select from a wide range of layouts, scale or reorder photos, and replace photos. Once you're done, just tap the word Make to save it, or tap the share icon to share it directly to social media. You can hide lock screen notifications so no one can see your personal messages without unlocking your phone. You can adjust the size of the keyboard to make it easier to use if you have small or large hands. You can take a selfie by raising your hand then making a fist. If you make a fist twice it will take four shots in succession which is great for making a photo booth style collage. To get it to register closing your fist twice, it's best to hold your fist closed the second time until you see the timer pop up. It has a built-in pedometer to keep track of your steps throughout the day. You can silence a call by flipping the phone over. You can answer a call by raising the phone to your ear. The lock screen has customizable shortcuts to any apps you want. The Messages app has a search function to search through all of your messages to find that one message from five months ago. You can even limit the search to a specific contact if you remember who sent the message. Bringing the phone down immediately after taking a selfie shows you the selfie. If you don't bring the phone down, you can continue to take uninterrupted selfies. You can change the theme of the entire Messages app. You can even change the theme for just a specific contact if you want different themes for different contacts. It has a Quad HD display. To put that into perspective, that's about 78% more pixels than the iPhone 6 Plus. You can get a USB on the go cable to connect almost any USB accessory to your phone, including an external storage, cameras to either charge them or copy photos from them, other smartphones to either transfer data or simply charge one with the other, and much more. You can use Miracast or Chromecast, which allow you to wirelessly mirror anything from your phone to any TV with a Miracast or Chromecast dongle. And if you connect a keyboard and mouse to your G4, you can use Chromecast or Miracast to literally turn your phone into an Android-based desktop computer. It has pop-up messages, so you can quickly reply to a message without having to leave the app you're currently in. When you copy text or images, they get saved to your clip tray. You can then access your clip tray later and paste multiple bits of text and images all in one shot. This is great for quickly sending someone multiple links. And now for some bonus features that didn't quite make the top 100 list. If you swipe left or right in the Messages app, you'll cycle through your recent conversations. You can print on just about any printer you have directly from the G4. This is a great feature if you need to quickly print a document that someone just emailed to you. If you long press the Recent Apps button, it will pull up the menu in various apps. You can change the size of your text messages by pinching in or out. The battery stats show you how long it will be until your phone dies, and how long it will be until it's fully charged. It has customizable quick toggles, and if you long press on a quick toggle, it takes you directly to the settings for that toggle. All of your recent apps remain in the recent apps window, even if your phone shuts off and you turn it back on later. No more losing your open apps if your battery dies. You can change the color of your folders to make the content in them easier to identify. You can set default applications for things like which web browser you want to use, which app opens photos, which app opens documents, and much more. The keyboard suggests emojis based on what you're writing. Flappy Bird is built right into Android Lollipop as an Easter egg. The volume automatically lowers when you plug in your headphones. So if you had the volume turned all the way up when your phone was plugged into your car, then later plugged your headphones in, you won't blow out your eardrums. You can use the LG G4 as a USB stick to transfer any type of file you want. And with a 200 gig micro SD card, or an even larger one once they become available, there's almost no limit to the size or types of files you can save. You can customize the buttons on the keyboard to get quick access to your most frequently used keys. You can quickly mute the device by tapping the speaker icon to the left of the adjustment bar in the notification shade. Tapping it again turns the volume back on. So there you have it, 100 plus reasons why the LG G4 is awesome. Let me know what your favorite G4 feature is in the comments below. And if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, let me know by leaving a like, sharing it on social networks, and by heading over to the Techisode TV Facebook page and giving that a like as well. And don't forget to head over to my new website at techisode.tv to get exclusive content that won't be on the YouTube channel. One more thing, guys. I'm super excited to announce that my wife has just published her first book. It's called Fragile, 30 Days of Hope for the Anxious Heart, and it's for anyone who struggles with debilitating anxiety or worry. So if that's something that you struggle with, I'll have a link in the description where you can learn more about the book and to get one for you or a friend. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.